Did you know that there was an ingredient in nose drops that may be helpful in treating scars, particularly post-acne scars? Hello, my name is Dr. Yasudian and I'm a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. Today we will look at the use of topical oxymetazolin nose drops for the treatment of acne scars. Oxymetazolin nose drops have been used for many years to treat nasal stuffiness in colds or allergies. And in the US, it's also available as a cream for facial redness in rosacea. It's a potent constrictor of blood vessels and also has anti-inflammatory properties. But it is this vasoconstrictive effect that has been shown to treat post-acne erythema and scars. Red acne marks or scars can be stubborn and are often a source of frustration. Even with no treatment, the marks will gradually fade. However, the process is very slow and may take many weeks or months or even years. These persistent red marks are caused by inflammation in the acne lesions or by incorrectly popping or picking the, on the pimples or due to skin trauma from scratches. Let's look at three studies where oxymetazolin has been used topically to treat post-acne scars. This study was published last year and involved 40 patients. The subjects applied 1.5% oxymetazolin to one side of the face and a control cream to the other side for three months. The results showed a statistically significant response in the side treated with oxymetazolin. Here's an image from the study showing a good response with reduction of the redness on the left cheek where topical oxymetazolin was used. Here is another patient with an excellent response with almost complete disappearance of erythema. This is another publication from the journal Dermatological Therapy where the authors used a triple formulation of topical oxymetazolin along with topical bromonidin and topical tranexamic acid. The concentration of oxymetazolin used was 1.5% cream. 40 patients were included and the topical agent was used for three months. Again, the active cream was used on one side and the placebo was used on the other side. The side treated with the triple combination showed a statistically significant improvement compared to placebo. Here is a 22-year-old lady with a very good response with a triple combination topical agent. The last study is interesting as the authors used nasal drops, which contain 0.05% oxymetazolin, which is available over the counter. It was again a split face trial with participants using nose drops on one side of the face and placebo on the other side. 10 drops or 0.5 ml of the oxymetazolin nose drops were applied on one side of the face in 30 subjects. The side where oxymetazolin was used revealed significantly less erythema after 12 weeks of treatment. Here is a patient showing significant improvement after 12 weeks of treatment with topical oxymetazolin on the right side of the face. Side effects in the studies were very low, less than 5%. The most common was application site erythema or redness, but it was noticed in less than 1% of patients. Some experienced dryness and itching of the skin. The incidence of treatment-related side effects was highest in the first four weeks of treatment and thereafter it disappeared gradually. Two major concerns of therapy with topical oxymetazolin are the loss of efficacy with prolonged use, which is called tachyphylaxis, and a rebound vasodilation with flare of the redness. These adverse effects were reported in rosacea patients who've used topical oxymetazolin. However, acne is a different condition and generally affects younger people. So these side effects are unlikely to occur in this group. The major issue is that oxymetazolin cream is available only in some countries like the US. So can we use nose drops that contain oxymetazolin on our skin? The concentration used in studies was 1.5% and was a cream formulation, whilst that in nose drops is only 0.1% and is a liquid. Also, nose drops can sometimes cause irritation of the skin. Pragmatically speaking, we could try it on a small area of the skin. And if there is no irritability of the skin, then it could be continued for a few weeks. Remember that this is off license or off label. If there are any side effects, it is best stopped. Ideally, if we can get hold of oxymetazolin from a country where it is produced, the cream, that would be the optimal way of treating acne scars. There is evidence, however, that just nose drops containing oxymetazolin may also help. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.